Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here and today we are going to talk about night vision. But before we do, I want to talk to you about one of our newest sponsors and a huge shout out to the Body Armor Outlet. Um, if you guys are not aware of what's going on in the world, you should be. And to have yourself and your family a set of armor, just in case, um, civil uprising, anything like that, or even attacks from a lot of things that are happening at the border, right? You guys listen, pay attention to the news, right? You guys see what's going on, you should definitely be prepared uh, in all aspects of your life. So check them out, the Body Armor Outlet. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, they did send me over this this uh, carrier. They sent us over some plates to shoot at. So this is their level three. We're going to shoot this thing and see what it can do. And on top of that, they also sent over their latest level four plates. And uh, we're going to be shooting these too. So both these are going to get shot. We're going to show you. We're going to shoot them with the things that they're rated for. And then we're going to shoot them with things that maybe they're not rated for and see exactly what can happen so anyway with that being said we're going to be right back and we're going to bring you guys the latest in the night vision all right y'all here we have it this is Another product by One Leaf AI. This is their Commander NV400. This is a 4 to 52 by 50. Yes, 4 to 52. Yes, it's digital. Yes, it's digital zoom. But let me tell you, I am super impressed with what I've seen so far. So uh, they, our friends did send this to me. Uh, this is the optic. I've already removed it from the uh, packaging, but we'll still go through what's in the box. But let me just tell you, this thing is seriously, like I did the NV100, the clip-on, and I was blown away by it. I really was. I enjoyed it. It worked incredibly well, and this thing is no exception. The day vision, the night vision, the starlight... Uh, is just amazing. It really, truly is. This is this thing is solid as a rock. It comes on every time that I want it to. It functions. It cycles. And we're going to be bringing you guys more of this thing shooting when we go out for our coyotes. Uh, but I want to show you guys just what comes in it. I know there's lots of people out there that have, um, you know, done the videos. And I'll read you some of the features off the box here. Um, it is a day, starry, or night vision. Um, it is video recording capable of 4K 120, 4K 60, and we're talking frames per second, 4K 30, 2K 30, and full HD 30 frames per second. That is amazing. And let me tell you, the video quality is, is superb. I'm going to be showing you guys another video coming up. Not now, but we're going to incorporate some of this stuff. Uh, the night vision range is 1,300 feet or 437 yards. Digital zoom, 13x. It's got an e-compass. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. And it, mine came spot on. Uh, I didn't even have to calibrate it. Um, first focal plane and second focal plane. That's phenomenal. For the, to have the ability of first and second focal plane on a digital scope is absolutely outstanding. One shot zero, yes. Back bu or Button backlit, yes. Uh, picture in picture, amazing. I'll show you guys some footage. I will get some of this, this video up for you guys. Um, it's going to take me a minute because I'm going to actually have to record it off of a monitor to show you the picture in picture and stuff, but it is awesome. Basically, you can look through your scope at uh, 1x and have a picture-in-picture -picture that zooms in on the, the next uh, uh, picture. Uh, batter, battery reversal alert, yes. So if you put your battery in backwards, it'll tell you. Um, 
six profile manager. It's got seven reticle options with five colors. It's got two mills in a pretty nice crosshair feature. It's got MOA, it's got dot, circle dot, it's got T. Uh, there's, it's just phenomenal. And the colors are amazing. It's got black, white, red, blue, and green. Um, the screen aspect is 16 to 9 or 4 to 3. So you can actually switch it. I run 16 to 9. Uh, external HD port, yes. Uh, and it's got an IP rating of 67. This one did come with a 64 gigabyte um, memory card also. And you can actually take pictures while recording as well. So if you're actually recording, like, you know, your hunt or whatnot, you can actually snap a picture and it will do 48 megapixels, 24 megapixels, 12 megapixels, or 8 megapixels. And you can do all that while recording. Absolutely insanely awesome. Uh, and once again, the, listen, for sub 700 beans, configured this way with the IR light and the laser rangefinder this thing is absolutely amazing i am not joking guys i you guys know me man i don't fluff a lot you know yes i mean sometimes you know i'm partial to something but honestly i have yet to have a problem with this thing at all it it just works every single time i don't have the problems that i've had with other companies um Matter of fact, there's the reticles you can see. I'll try to zoom in on that here. Try to zoom in on that so you guys can see the reticles. Um, and then what comes in the box? It does come packaged really nicely. It's got your lens cloth. It's got a um, guide for your IR light. Um, it does come with a two-year warranty. And um, these guys are very responsive. It's another thing I like about them. Very, very responsive. You email or whatever, they email you back, talk to you right away. Um, I did, like I said, I, I did open this up. So uh, it does come with the manual. You can also download the manual um, online. Uh, I've already done that and put it on my phone just in case I'm out in the field and I need to recall a function. Uh, it's nice to not have to carry this out there with you. Um, it's got a nightshade or a uh, sunshade. We'll go over how that all works here in a little bit. Um, we've got two different eyepieces. I think one's 55 and one's 65. But I'll explain the difference between those as well. Uh, it comes with your charger for your uh, internal. So it's got three batteries in the scope. Two are built in and one is replaceable. We'll go over that as well. And then plus the uh, IR light uh, battery. This is your charger for that. And we'll go over all that as well. It's got a lens cap for your, op your ocular side. It's got um, a 65 millimeter battery cap. We'll go over that as well so we can talk about the differences and what you can do. Um, it comes with a HDMI cable, so you can actually run the scope to a monitor and you can view all of your video footage. Um, it comes with a USB-C. One thing that none of them seem to come with is charging blocks, but that's okay. We've all got charging blocks. Uh, it's got a T-handle wrench. It's got some extra O-rings in here. Um, I don't know what those are for yet, but we can always look. I'm guessing for the caps. And then it comes with your Allen's. Um, and then it comes with your IR light and uh, that is it I do not see anything else other than a dry pack so now that we've got that all out of the way let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this optic and what it actually oops, what it actually uh, can do for you so it does come with a mount that you can mount your IR to um, I have a tendency to like to mount these more to my rifle, um, to like my chassis. This is going on an AR-10 chambered in 22-250. That'll be for Coyote uh, along with my 243 bolt gun uh, that's running a different night uh, vision. Um, so the lens cap on this, um, you can actually screw your your day or your 
super sunny um, sunshade on there. And then at any point that you want, uh, when it's nighttime, you can simply just flip it to the side. How cool is that, right? It, it, that way it's, it's always there. So you can go right to your night shooting, right by doing that, and be on your way. Um, this is going to be your parallax adjustment, near and far. And I can tell you that this thing goes down to about, I think they said, four yards. I can tell you that I can see really close with this, this optic uh, into um, the area around me. Um, Built-in laser rangefinder. This actually connects via pins uh, that are in, in this pick rail. So it actually is connected and works without Bluetooth or anything else. It's just integrated right into it. Um, this is where your extra battery is. So this is your... Um, uh, 50 millimeter battery cap and there's your battery now I'm guessing that you can get the larger battery and then this will be the cap that goes on there for the larger one but like I said it's actually got two internal batteries as well as this top one I don't know how long it's gonna last but I'm guessing it's gonna last long enough that I don't really have to um, worry about it so I'm not for now I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, underneath your side over here which would normally be your windage adjustment is actually capped with all of your uh, connections. So it's got my micro SD card in there, um, it's got my uh, HDMI, it's got my USB-C and then this looks like a reset button. I have not tested it or touched it. I have not had to. Um, that's one thing I can say about these guys. The whole time that I had that NV100, I mean, I ran that thing for probably two years, and I never, ever, ever had that thing fail. It always came on. It always worked. Everything just worked flawlessly, and I expect nothing less than that from there. Um, you've got your video button. You've got your switch button from night to day vision, and then you've got your play and your illumination button. You've got your power button, you simply hold it down, the scope powers up, and then it's got a very cool rot rotatable, so you can actually just uh, hold down the center button, this is your menu button, it brings up the menu inside, and everything is just dial, dial through the menu, when you find something, single uh, quick tap will highlight and let you change your settings in your menu. And so far, it, well, once again, flawless, it just, works it just works I don't know how to tell you any other way um, the scope itself does weigh a little bit um, but I wouldn't expect it to be light I mean this thing is well made this is definitely aluminum housing um, I mean it, it is solid as a rock um, doesn't really say much on the bottom I mean obviously I'm almost certain these are made in China um, but what is it I mean, seriously, everything is, right? It's actually even the night vision in this and the system that it uses is actually the Sony system. So you guys know we all trust Sony. We all know that Sony makes great stuff. And this is no exception that they brought Sony into their, their lighting systems here. Um, once again, you know, we can, we can connect our, um, I guess I need an Allen, but either way, we can connect our IR light here. Um, I do plan on mounting mine to the end of uh, my barrel on my um, on my foregrip of my AR-10. Um, so just that way, it's just it's separate from the optic. Um, doesn't kind of bulk it up or gaudy it up. Um, another thing that I have considered doing is putting a red dot off of the side here, so that if in fact um, my scope. Um, like let's say the battery went dead or it became damaged in whatever uh, I would still have a backup sighting system and um, we're also going to run iron sights on the, the gun as well just because a gun without being able to look through it or anything else is kind of worthless and this is not a through design this is actually a camera so you know there you have that but uh, the Commander NV400 from uh, One Leaf AI Definitely check them out. I'm going to have a ton of videos on this. We're going to shoot a 
ton of footage with it this year and uh, we're going to keep bringing you stuff from these guys. They are phenomenal. I'm hoping to get a hold of a set of their binoculars as well for my spotter while we're out doing our um, coyote hunting and uh, I can't wait to bring you guys this stuff man. We have some amazing property where we can coyote hunt and man it is really really proving positively awesome. So difference between these caps. The short one is for if you're running the 16 to 9 um, um, aperture in the air in the inside the screen size right. Uh, it just simply screws on and uh, it's very comfortable very flexible you know gives you just enough now I've heard people say that the reason that they run these is so that it kind of traps the light so it doesn't reflect off your face I disagree with that I think that it's more so that the ambient light from the outside doesn't interfere with what you're seeing through here I don't run into that problem um, I've heard people say that um, Coyotes can see the reflection. I'm like, dude, I mean, where we hunt, there's property around. So people have lights on their houses. They have stuff like that. I don't think that that's actually the case. However, I could be wrong, I suppose, but I've never noticed that um, shooting a coyote with a little bit of light in my face has ever made a difference. So just, you know, my take on it. Uh, I think it's more to stop the ambient light from the outside, reaching your eye, and distracting you from what you're seeing in the uh, footage here itself. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. And I'd also love to hear what you guys have to say about the um, One Leaf AI Commander NV400. Or if you've had the uh, NV100 in the past, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are thinking also about the 22250. I cannot wait. I have just been so in love with this round. If you guys have never seen uh, a 22250 round, let me see if I can open this box. Oh, these things are a pain to get open. But uh, these are the uh, Varmint Expresses. Zoom in on that real quick. But uh, these are oh, 55 grain VMAX. I love Hornady VMAX tips. I just do. It's kind of my jam. Um, but uh, I am really excited to get this thing out and uh, whack us some coyotes. Thanks to Bear Creek Arsenal for uh, their, their role in this as well. And uh, there's other people involved as well, and we definitely appreciate them as well. Uh, but, like I said, when we use the AR-10, this will be the optic. Uh, when I use the, um, the Remington 700-243, uh, we're running an ATN. Um, so we're actually going to do a comparison between the two as well. Is ATN the champ in my book or is One Leaf creeping up on all of these other companies? We're going to find out this season for sure. So stick around. We'll bring you guys a ton of different footage. Till next time, be good to each other and God bless.